What is Inquiry Hub? Well, Inquiry Hub is at first a school, a location, a place, um, but really it's a community. It's the community of students and teachers uh, coming together to inquire, yes, but really it's about learning new things and uh, trying out things that you wouldn't normally do in another school. So I find that it's a special place in that sense where we take on projects that other schools can't or won't or aren't able to. So. I first learned of Inquiry Hub because it came out as a posting, so they were looking for teachers, one for humanities, one for science. Immediately it appealed to me, um, this idea that you would think about projects that would bring together science and mathematics, and then also work on student-led and student-directed inquiry projects. Uh, I loved the idea. I wasn't sure that I would necessarily apply for it right for the first year, but uh, as it turns out, I, I met Mr. Soyseth, uh, Alan Soyseth, the other uh, teacher, and he recommended that I actually apply for it at that time. So I did and interviewed and got here, and then we've been building the school up ever since. Um, the neat thing about being a small school community where there's really only between, at the start we only had about 40 students or so, uh, now we're up to about 60 students uh, and a small teaching staff. The neat thing is that we can adjust really quickly. So if we come together, identify a problem, uh, make a decision on a course of action to deal with that problem, we're able to, to put something into effect relatively quickly uh, as opposed to a large to a larger school, to a, to a regular sized high school, um, which, is, which is really neat. An inquiry project is one usually where the teachers placed some constraints on what that inquiry will be. Uh, so it could be the topic area or it could be the style of question. So for example, uh, I've asked students to do an inquiry within a microgravity setting for the International Space Station. Uh, I've asked students to make up an inquiry project around psychology. I've asked students to make up an inquiry project around uh, philosophy. So. Uh, an inquiry project can be somewhat teacher directed, but within that space, there's a big potential for students to then make some choices on how they proceed. So whether it's the specificity of the question and changing that around, or the approach that they want to take to to the um, inquiry project, whether they want to output a a presentation, or if they want to output a story, uh, or if they want to output a photo essay that becomes up to up to the student. So there's room for negotiation and uh, with guidance from the teacher, the student is able to uh, agree on the, on the pieces of the project, on how it comes together. But an inquiry in my mind does have some constraints placed on it. Well, live action role play. So uh, I, you know, I'd originally heard of a school doing this uh, in Europe, and I asked around uh, with the students if they've heard of such a thing, and, and they had. And uh, a number of students were quite keen on trying to run our own live action role play here. And so we devised a system to come up with storylines and uh, non-player characters, and uh, a whole series of workshops and even a promotional trailer video to recruit the rest of the school in their participation in this school-wide live-action role play with a fantasy theme. And uh, and that came off really well. And I see the future of LARP or EduLARP, uh, educational live-action role play, uh, as a way to really engage students uh, both in writing and acting, uh, a sense of history, uh, a sense of empathy for others. And really, it's a it's a it's a creative possibility.
the garden was our first uh, project, literally groundbreaking, <laughs> in the sense of it, it brought our whole school community together. It was student-led. Uh, I simply put out the call that there was a, a potent, a po an opportunity to apply for a grant from World Wildlife Fund of Canada. And uh, one student in our first year, uh, Shauna, she put together the initial application. Um, we had a number of sit-downs and editing uh, around it, but we turned that around in like five days maybe. Uh, it was submitted and successful, and then they were able to spend the rest of the year uh, getting credit in math and inquiry and science, uh, exploring uh, how they would actually create and design this garden. At the same time, they had to communicate at the district level and get approval for all of these things that were happening, and they sought out community support uh, as well. And in the end, uh, we had we have this uh, garden that we can that we can all share and uh, participate in its continuation.